Uh, let's go to the podium now with Porter Moser. I'm joined by Oklahoma coach Porter Moser. Uh, welcome to the Big 12 coach and your thoughts about the upcoming season. No, just like everybody, you're, you're excited to start playing somebody different. You know, we've, uh, you, you're there all summer, you're playing all summer, and um, the, these workouts in the, in the fall, and we're, we're just, just like everybody else, we're excited to get going and, and to play somebody different and see where you are. And for me, being the first year, there's a lot of unknowns. You know, you, 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 you think you know based on practice and what they're doing, but, you know, once the games get going, you really start learning a lot about your team. Okay, we got a question on the rear left. Coach David Smale with Associated Press. With all the changes that have happened in the past off season, do you have expectations there's gonna be additional hostility for your team on the road and how do you prepare your team for that? You know, you, you probably gotta anticipate it. <laughs> so, but you don't, you know, you just control what you can control, you know. even. You know, even watching on you know TV, these guys, it's it's all those places are hostile anyways. I mean, it's 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 not easy to go into any of these arenas anyways. So I don't if if it's an additional, it, it is what it is. But it's it's still going to be the same hard atmospheres to play and win in. Um, and for your guys, you just control with control. You know, you got to find a way to to use that as a motivating factor at some point. But um, it's you're going to face tough environments, you know, regularly anyways. <laughs> we got a question on the aisle in the middle. Hey, Coach. Dylan Rivera, Gaylord College of OU. Uh, we spoke earlier to Chris Beard and Mike Boynton, and both of them had high respect for you. Uh, can you talk about some of maybe your relationships with other coaches around the Big 12 and the respect that you guys have for each other? Well, those are reciprocated right back at Mike and, and Chris. I've known those guys for a while in the profession. Um, you know, how Mike how they carry themselves is off the floor, the same guys, you know, as they moved up the ladder. You, you see, you, you know everybody when they were assistants, you know, and how they were and how they're grinding. And you see some people change who they are. And uh, those guys obviously haven't changed who they are. I've, I've known Chris, it seems like, for such a long time. And, uh, you know, when we see each other, we talk about the old days and competing, and I know how competitive he is. And, um, but he, he hasn't changed who he is. And I just think that's such a, a big part of, of what you do. And, you know, it just seemed like you know so many of these coaches. Um, you know, from you know Bruce Weber. You know, being at Illinois, I'm from Illinois, and uh, Southern Illinois. I played in the Valley. Um, he came. He was after. I was with Rich Heron, but uh, I don't want to age him that much. Um, but <clears throat> just from top to bottom, I've known TJ since you know TJ was at you know Chipola Junior College, and you get to know different people. Coach Self when he was at Earl Roberts, and you just you get to know him a long time. And um, but. The, the, the crazier story was with, with, with Coach Huggins right over there when, uh, when he was at Cincinnati. I told him this story before. When we, we played Cincinnati at, uh, when we were in Hawaii. I was playing at Creighton, and uh, we were down 21 at half. And we are up 21 at half and thought we had the game won. And uh, we, the, back then, the, the classic had a, a curtain, and we heard an unbelievable motivational speech at halftime. And uh, we lost by one or two in the tournament. And so I've known a lot of, so I've known a lot of them and seen a lot of them coach and respect it. But they're truly, it, it's an unbelievably coach league. I mean, this is my first year in it, but watching from the outside and knowing these guys, uh, you can just watch on TV and just see the success they've had and how hard every team defends. Got a question, left side, front. Joe Helmer, OUinsider.com. Uh, Porter, obviously you've got so many newcomers, transfers, and um, to mix around the veterans that you have on this roster, how have things progressed in terms of uh, chemistry with you guys since they've got on campus? Right, so people ask you, like, how do you, how do, you do that and get them together? And it's, it's just, there's no secret, it's just time. You gotta spend time, you gotta spend time building relationships with them. And, uh, you know, the one dynamic that's different sometimes when you take over, you're inheriting, back in the old days, without the transfer portal, you're inheriting maybe nine guys from the previous team, and at least they knew each other. You know, now, you know, we had to sign nine and like they didn't, the nine you signed didn't know each other and the guys that were back didn't know each other. So you're, you're trying to get them to build a camaraderie and a togetherness as well as learn your system. So the only answer to that is time. You know, it, it takes time. You know, we were able to work with them in the summer, which is, which is great, but limited hours. Um, so that's why you, you're going to continue to learn and continue to come together once these games start. You know, once you go through adversity, once you go through, you know, 
celebrations. You know, you, you learn and you grow throughout that process. So it's a, it's a, it's a definitely a work in progress coming together when you when you start like that from new with so many new guys. Further questions for Coach on the aisle in the middle. Dylan Rivera, Kaylor College of OU. Uh, just curious if you have had any conversations with anybody about getting a culture wall at OU yet. Um, yeah, it's up. It's up. It was up to like the first week. So yeah, it's, come on by. Come see it. Question in this area in the same place. Uh, Tyler DeLuca, Gaylor College at OU. Uh, yesterday we heard from uh, Jenny on the women's side talking about following up Sherry Cole and, you know, kind of the pressure that comes with that. Is that something that you feel following up with uh, Coach Kruger? And have you had any conversations with Coach Kruger uh, about taking the job? ton of conversations with Coach Kruger. He is truly one of the best. Obviously, he's a Hall of Fame coach, but he's also one of the best human beings in our profession. Um, you know, I talked with him before I took it. I've talked to him many, many times after. Um, he's been around. He's been to workouts. Uh, just, you know, it's an honor to follow a guy like that. Um, he did an unbelievable job in the 10 years he was there, not only winning, but he did a, a, a phenomenal job in the community. The hardest part about following Coach Kruger, besides his winning, besides his winning, is is the, the amount of calls I get about open practices. I mean, it's every day. I mean, there's a contingency of people that he opened up every single practice every single day. Um, I don't think you see, see that in, the, in college basketball very often. But uh, no, just honored to, to, be, to follow a guy like Lon, and he's been unbelievable to try, trying to help me and navigate any, any questions I have. He's been around and came to our golf tournament. Um, truly part of Oklahoma basketball forever. Coach Kruger will be. Got a question towards the rear in the middle. Coach Eric Bailey with the Tulsa World. I wanted to ask you about Jordan and Tanner. You got two new players that are transfers in, uh, older veteran players. How much have they provided leadership despite this being their first year on campus? Well, one of the things we wanted to do, especially, is, is to get a point guard that was older. And Jordan, going through what he went through at Duke, he's been on a high stage. Um, he was all defensive team in, in the ACC, and so I knew we were going to get those things with him. And, uh, you know, we're going to count on his leadership a lot. We're going to need his leadership a lot and his consistent leadership a lot, being, being an older guy that's been through some things. And um, I think he's... Uh, for him, he's going to have a bigger role and a bigger bigger leadership role than he's ever had, and we're counting on that. And uh, I'm excited as he's growing every day, getting better, and uh, we're counting on him to have a big year for us. Um, Tanner grows, same thing. He just got a, an energy about him. Uh, like, he's one of our loudest guys in practice every day. He's communicating. He's talking. Um, he's been a sponge to learn, watching tape, comes up, watches a ton of extra tape. He comes, he, he wants to be good. And uh, when younger guys see that, that's, that's, that's such a good sign of how things go. But Tanner's, Tanner's I mean, he absolutely loves it. He loves basketball. And, and, and you like coaching guys that love it like that. We have time for one more question. Who wants to be last? Got one in the aisle. Hey, Coach, uh, you also talked about um, Goldwire and that, that quote about you know, bringing in a veteran point guard. Um, you brought him here today, so I feel like that kind of says something about his leadership. What's he like in the locker room? You know, I think, I think um, Jordan is a guy that, uh, you know, when, his, when he's playing, like his intensity, you know, it's, it's, it's really something that becomes contagious. And I think the guys respect the, um, where he's been, and they're looking to him for leadership to where we're going. And so am I. And I think that's going to be a big, big thing for him. And I, 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 he's, um, um, he's, he's a guy where uh, he can really dominate a practice. He can dominate a practice um, with his effort, with his defense, um, with his pace. When his pace gets going, he can do it. And you, you have to have your older guys. I mean, this league, you look at how old this league is and how good of players and well coached this league is. You need your older guys to be those guys. You know, Elijah Harkless um, has been through it. Uh, Jordan Gowire has been through it. Um, and, you know, Tanner Groves is in, in his fourth year. And um, Jalen Hill has been through it here. Mo Gibson. So you, you've got to have your older guys be guys that you can count on, at least for leadership, toughness, consistency, stacking good practices. And, and that's what the guys are looking for to Jordan. 
Okay, Coach, welcome to the Big 12 again. Thank you very much. Good season.